Hey everyone, I'm sure you've seen this technique on social media where parts of a building rotate or morph, but how exactly is it done? In this video, I'll walk you through the process quickly and easily. Before we dive in, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and if you're still confused about how to properly learn motion graphics from beginner to pro, make sure to check out the Motion Hero course. I've put the link in the description below. We're going to use a plugin in After Effects to handle everything. First, open your image in Photoshop and use the selection tool to isolate the parts of the building you want to animate. Separate them from the background and save the file. Then, bring that file into After Effects. Make sure that when you import it, you select the third option, Composition Retain Layer Sizes, and hit OK. Now we have our layer inside After Effects, and we're going to apply an effect. Specifically, the plugin we need is called Reflex Morph. This plugin is part of a larger suite, but we're only using Reflex Morph for this project. Set your work area to a short duration about two seconds. Now, animate the picture key parameter. Turn it on in the first frame. Turn it off in the second frame. And then back on again in the final frame. That's the basic setup. Now, let's get into the details to make this effect look great. We'll animate specific parts of the image using masks. I'll grab the pen tool and draw a simple straight mask around one of the building's columns. Open the mask settings and add a keyframe to mask path at the first frame. Then move to the final frame of the work area and shift the mask position to the next column. The more precise you are, the better the final result will look. As you can see, this creates a beautiful morph transition in just a single frame. If you repeat this process for each column, the morphing effect becomes really eye-catching. To speed things up, here's a more efficient approach. Delete the old mask and start from scratch. Draw straight masks along the edges of each column. Once all your masks are ready, select the layer, press Ctrl F, and search for mask path in the timeline. Now keyframe each mask path. At the final second, leave the first and last masks untouched. They'll keep the image stable. Instead, copy the first keyframe of each next mask and paste it into the last keyframe of the previous one. That way, Every mask smoothly transitions into the position of the next one. Once everything is set, you'll witness the real magic of this plugin. You can apply this exact technique to other parts of your building facade to enhance your design even more. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and inspiring. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss future After Effects tutorials. See you in the next video.